Dude. Whoa! <gasps> that was so sick! Oh, Oops. Excuse me, that was the wrong one. Love it. Whoa, dude, this is so cool. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna remember pretty much the majority, like 80% of these spells by the end of this game, and it's gonna be in my vocabulary for the rest of my life. That was so unnecessarily loud. Repair. One last thing for us is a singer to worry about. Where's there it is? Here's the shiny thing right there. Cool, love it. Powerful puff. Oh, I regret getting this. Now I hope Hufflepuff has a really cool uh, quest line, so may do a couple more runs of this game on different houses, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how we kind of feel about this game later on. Quite a lot to come up anyway on my schedule. Quite a lot. Was it where? Sweet. Let's go get some gear. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Yeah, I don't want to brag, but uh, I'm pretty cool. What's up, man? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes in thanks for what you did today. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Your perusal? Dude, you can get legendary gear. Extraordinary. Superb. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well appointed. <laughs> cool. What's going on with this kind of stuff? Like. So with the gear, you can can you slot traits onto it or something, or can you just you get things with traits? Is that what I'm kind of assuming is happening? Okay. Can you only wear one piece of legendary armor? Could you just stack your entire guy with it? These are you things we're going to learn on the way. You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I have zero of both. Oh no. Merlin's beard. Hmm. And a hand me down robe. You must be a Weasley. Okay, so you can't buy these. They're quite expensive, but uh, I'm sure we'll come across some better stuff later on in the game. I suspect you have a sharp eye for that. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? 
Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Yeah. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. You know what, bro? I'm gonna rax whatever this is. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might Rebellious, the owner. She's a good one to know. Love you also. Mm. Ah. No. We'll come Hello back there. for it. We'll come back for come it. Come on in and have a look around. Yeah, what was this guy saying, by the way? Sub G. Oh, we have to walk this. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. 
Yeah, after I grab a couple of things in here. This game is... This game is good, team. Story's fun, it's great, it's collectibles. It's just enjoyable, man. It's really good. Blue flat cap. You do. No, man. I'm not worthy. Alright, let's go. I jumped in that. Nah. the bad guys i'm certainly glad serona was there told you she was one of the good ones i can see that she didn't seem at all intimidated by rookwood and arlo i think you'll need to tell me why victor rookwood has you in his sights but we could talk later for the moment we should return to the castle professor weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours All right, cool. Okay, they forced me to do this interaction so I can learn it. Good. I'm just glad I fixed the graphics on this. It's a lot better now. It's a bit smoother. Even the cutscenes are a bit better. You received an L post. Oh. Oh for owl. Love it. What's up, Jay? <laughs> Mr. Fig. Let's see me, I've discovered something in the locket we found in Gringotts. Ooh, real convenient. resource indeed your field guide i'm most pleased to be included i have to go and walk this okay cool mate why did it take so long I was like stuck at the door and he was like, mm, I don't know if I want to open it. Because you just have to push through. There's no like button to actually press to unlock it. Bombarda. I love it when they scream that in this game. See, I could have just fast traveled here and the game wouldn't let me. It's ridiculous. You're forcing engagement time. <laughs> what? I just have a nap on there and he didn't even wake me up. Jeez. Actually quite nice of him. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. 
Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Vic to Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Okay, I find it really weird that he just happens to say that like everyone at Gringotts is all good, but like there was that security guard and then there's like a minion behind him. One of them happened to work there as well, buddy, but okay, it's all good. It's all good, I'll just forget about that as well. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Cool. Gonna learn a new spell. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Levioso. Repero. Accio. None of them. Alright, must be a new spell. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. Revelio. There is nothing in here. That's crazy. If it's a fig, as if my schedule. <laughs> That's how the rich people say it. Wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with <laughs> arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will, uh, they will need an escort and a mentor to help them okay, acclimatize before term begins. This is making sense. Uh, I've assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas... Dude, the headmaster? What? I'm weirded out. I wish I could just jump down those stairs, just levitate myself. What do you want? Come now, Annabelle. It was a long time ago. Revelio. Wow. I believe we have some magic. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. 
Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Cool. You know where to find me once you've finished. Right here. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. And two rounds of crossed wands. Is that the little underground? Little underground ring? That's cool. Complete a round of a spell combination practice with Lucan. Revelio. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Lumos, Leviosa, repair room. Cool. Yeah, level six, let's go. Uh, let's see. Challenges, gear, outfit. Upgrade it, cool. Neck wear. We have something. That's not cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Face wear. Dude, seriously. <laughs> Why did it look like that? <laughs> Five plus eight. It's a plus eight and you've got traits that you can apply. It's a plus seven in defense. There's no offense. Dude, my guy looks so dumb. Ugh. You changed the appearance, yes. Oh, that's so... That is... Okay, that is much cooler that you can do that. Why wouldn't you wear this stuff? My guy looks way cooler now. All right. Lucan, you're a child. What's up, man? 
Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Spectacular. <laughs> we'll make you regret signing up. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. So break through the yellow shields with control spells like Levitation Spell, Livioso. Target lock. Oh, you can target lock in this. Okay. To track enemies without having to aim, lift it right and change targets. Shit, I'm going to forget about this, aren't I? Oh, what did he nice know? Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Thanks, man. Hey. Thanks, man. Whoa! It's Master Keitel! Be seeing you on Saturday. Gotta farm, uh, gotta farm the Keitel dungeon for, uh, some nice artifice armor in Destiny 2 before Lightfall comes out. Why did the game just suddenly get real, real laggy, super framey, but weird. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Call on me. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Dude, like, look how laggy... Okay, you guys can't even tell. I'm moving my mouse and it's nowhere near. It's like a mad delay. Not at the moment. Fine, but don't take too long making up your mind. Yeah, all good, Jeep. Why did it just go real laggy out of nowhere? I'm very confused. Give me a moment. I'm going to quickly just change some settings. Okay. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Oh, 
Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Dude, Lucan's the man. He's so nice. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Ooh. Yeah, let's stick with the boy Sebastian. He's he's been pretty loyal so far. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. There's three of them? Adept round. <laughs> what? Breakthrough violet shields with four spells like summoning charm Akio. Ah. Target lock, and we can do that. Okay. No, that is not what I'm feeling. No. That is ridiculous. All right, give me some. That is not. Dude. Gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Well, assignment's all finished. What are you up to now?
these are all little side quests, of course. Okay. I should come back to this another time. Report back to it. Where is she? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, this is not a clear indication as to where she is, man. Go for a run. How about that? Hello? Oh. Sure, I'm gonna shoulder charge you. Oh. <laughs> Downstairs. Okay. I'm glad the graphics have kind of just pulled through for me now. Get in there. It was in the complete wrong room. What I the? trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Okay. No, Master. There we go. We're good. <laughs> Why did it look back at the end? <laughs> did a little peep back. You've learned enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. Okay, to do this, you'll need to swap it to different spells. So press T. Good work. Oh, okay. Oh, you can see all the moves. Okay. What? All oh, right, wait. What? Use a spell. You must. Yeah, I'm gonna send you a hold. Where am I dragging it to? There. Into the spot. I was replacing it on. Nah. Nice. Hey, we leveled up, guys. I don't know what that means. Incendio, this boy. Gonna say a different word. Incendio. Incendio. You're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Can you not walk in front of me when I'm doing? Sweet, sweet magic. Incendio, setting 
things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Cathartic, yes. Exactly what I was thinking. Yes, should have run this way. Oops. There we go. And now we can start this mission. Cool. Okay, we'll do this mission and we'll go. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Toils. Okay. Let's see. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. I wish the map was a... Like, it's really nice and detailed, don't get me wrong. I think it's a little overly complicated and it's not actually giving me like a definitive area to kind of like run to without me having to physically do it myself. Everybody used to fast travel to do this kind of thing, you know? What the hell? <laughs> what is he up to? Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? As I'm awkwardly wearing a Death Eater outfit, but all good. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. He might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. All right. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. <laughs> Peeves. Little rat. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. 
Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Oh, gonna get in trouble. All right. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rattle us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Oh. There we go. Unbelievable. I'm pressing the buttons and wasn't registering it. You're born his new keyboard. <laughs> Use disillusionment. Disillusionment. Uh, to avoid being detected in half limit areas. Okay. So like half and off limit areas. Um, the moment I saw like the little mini map on the bottom left, like doing what it's doing right now, it's kind of like that red radiating kind of aura thing. I was like, cool. This is going to be like Assassin's Creed. You have to be sneaky. And I suck when it comes to being sneaky. Wait, does that mean I have to do some movement? Yes. Last for <laughs> you don't hear the door open. Come on. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Alohomora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Alohomora. Lady, come on. What is going on here? There's someone there. Brother. Is that you, Peeves? <laughs> oh, Peeves. I forgot about Peeves. Piece of... PV... Things. The key. Here it is. Did we get the key? That was 
not so difficult after all. How to find that book? Bro, that can't be the book. <laughs> Imagine. All right, let's go. <laughs> Use basic cast or undetected to lure three figures to a desired location. Oh, okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. Peeves is totally going to destroy us, isn't he? Going to ruin everything. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. We must remain unseen. <laughs> so what is it you've been looking for? Make up your mind. I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is this, precisely. I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Go to three peak, go to three peak, otherwise you never know, you might get caught. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. This is why I need another set. Okay. Um, Piero. Ribeiro. Who have we here? I knew it. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Yeah, I was about to do it. And the silly, silly boy. Not long. Nothing. Fix it all the time. Tidal. Ooh, okay. How big is the section? Of 
course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. I mean, I have to go on, don't I? Money? Whoa, okay. Should we chuck that on? Yes. That's under it. <laughs> Where might this lead? What the? Not surprising. Whoa. Guards at the ready. Gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of like Street Fighter. This makes sense. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. That explains how I was able to do it faster than the other times. Okay. When at least one segment of ancient magic meter is full. Where is that? Oh, it's down on the bottom right. Okay. You can cast a devastating ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms. Press X when you see the prompt over an enemy's head. Give me that ancient magic, baby. Is that a chest? Should have been a chest. Doesn't matter. Incendium. No. Oh, bro, come on. Oh, okay. No. Can you not take a step forward when I'm doing that, please? Wonder what I have to do to get that. Alright. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. This must be the way forward, but to where? My God, it's about me. Oh, okay. Okay, we're great. Right. We're all right. Oh, my. Okay, well, are we all right, team? Are we? late for that one mate it is a book after all You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. 
Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganok. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Dude, Sebastian's the guy. How's Sebastian sacrificing his uh, potential? Or staying in Hogwarts? That's pretty. Accio. Always fat finger the wrong bottom. 